when I first came to the training, I, I started to recognize that there was a way to be comfortable in my own skin with whatever was coming up for me. Like anxiety, paranoia, hatred, jealousy, uh, wanting to be very much in, involved in a group and then having moments where I wanted to be totally alone. So the whole array of positive, negative, and neutral. And when I came to the training and I heard short moments of complete relaxation, and I tested that out, I was open enough to test out just letting all data be as they were, all thoughts, all emotions, all sensations. There was a short moment of relief from all of the description that was going on in my mind describing how do I fit in, what will people think of me, uh, what's the state of the world today, how are we going to survive as a species, you know, all of this, all of the raging thoughts that were just going on moment by moment, there was a short moment of relief from all of that, from trying to manage everything, from trying to think of a solution for myself and others. So I spent my time just trying to find solutions and getting more and more frustrated, you know, testing all of these ways of using my mind, trying to have no thoughts, trying to sit in a, in a space of no thoughts, no emotions, not letting anything bother me. And there was some success, but then I would go out into the busy streets and then I'd get pissed off again at something so simple and random, like the rickshaw driver charged me 10 rupees too much, or yeah, something so small, just getting so agitated and really just being at the whim of, of everything. You know, really wanting to have more positive experiences. So spending all of my time and energy chasing those positive experiences and then hoping that they wouldn't go away and fearing that they would go away. And then the negative would come back. Oh, I'm paranoid. I'm depressed. I'm hope. I feel hopeless for myself and others. So. It's just a tiring way to live. So when we come here to the Balance U training, and it's, like I said, it's a global family network. <laughs> just the people standing up for um, an empowered way to live our lives, a way of using our mind that's not at the whim of everything that's going on within it. Um, I just recognize that there is an easy way to live an empowered way to live, for all of us to come together and bring about peace, harmony, and empowerment on this planet for all beings. And I saw that it was up to me to test out letting my constellation of data be as they are. I've seen I've exhausted all of my antidotes to fix myself. Like no matter if I have the best diet and I do the right exercise and I have the right thoughts, did that actually change who I am? I, I tried everything, I, you know, I did different types of yoga, I've done different diets, I've tried different ways of trying to think and feel and different relationships, different places in the world to live, <clears throat> different friendship groups. It's like, and wherever I went, there I was with all of the same thoughts, emotions, sensations. So a constant up and down. And coming here, we find that there's actually the ups and downs, they even out the troublesome emotions and thought patterns and habits just naturally fade away by practicing short moments of open intelligence. When we stop thinking just for a moment, like if we do that right now, just turn down the dial of the internal radio and turn off the TV for a minute, what remains when you stop thinking? A powerful intelligence it's alertness, it's clear, it's unaffected by the content of, of the mind. Just like the, the breeze and the air, they're, they're not affecting each other. Or like how um, in the monsoon when there's lots of rains and thunder, it doesn't affect the sky. The sky remains flawless, stainless, peaceful, potent. And this is the same way with our mind, our intelligence. If you check it out today, when, even right now, so you stop thinking, open intelligence is present, and then all the thoughts come back in, the radio is turned back up, the TV turns on and your, your movie line is going, open intelligence is unaffected too. 
When you looked in the mirror when you were five, and you look in the mirror now, has your intelligence, your open intelligence changed at all? It's the exact same intelligence that was looking then as it was looking now. When you feel blissful and excited, like you're really in that zone of what you love doing, is open intelligence any different than when you feel gloomy and upset and just like you want to die? Is, it, is your open intelligence any different? It is not. It's powerful. It's alert. It's clear. So this is the basis of our stability as humans. This is the basis of mental and emotional stability. It's the basis from which we can be of benefit to ourselves and others. It's not a mystery. You know, our wisdom is not a mystery. Powerful wisdom is available to each and every one of us in every short moment. The wisdom required to engage in our, in our passions. The wisdom required to harmonize our relationships. The wisdom required to bring about peace between nations. It is available in this very simple open intelligence. So we just gain access to that open intelligence short moment by short moment. We don't have to sit in a special closed off environment to get to know this wisdom power. It's available everywhere, even in the midst of your most afflictive state or your most positive state or just that boring neutralized state. So in short moments we tap into our most profound intelligence. We've just been using our intelligence to focus in on the descriptions. And a situation arises where you know somebody, for instance, you're working on a project and somebody's asked you to do it and then you see somebody else doing it and it looks like it's better and then you're like, oh, fuck this, they can do it. <laughs> Why am I doing this stupid service position anyway? And it just builds into a whole storyline and then you see all the reasons why you want to run away, like why you hate the other person, why you should be somewhere else. So that's, it's like living like this. And all you see is the anger and the hatred. And, but extract the power from that anger and hatred and that whatever's coming up. Extract that energy. That is your power to be of benefit when left as it is. If we indulge it, then you know what happens. More fighting, more war, more killing, more internalized depression, just putting ourselves down. But yeah, when somebody was doing something better than me, I just put myself down. Oh, you're an idiot. You just run away. What's the point? It's so easy to collapse into those things. And my strategies would have been, okay, well, go for a run, run it off, or have a drink and relax. And that's not true, but in allowing it to be as it is, I could see that every time it arises, you know, it's not like unpleasant things don't arise on a daily basis, then there's no longer the need to run away or reach for those antidotes to somehow suppress feeling what we're feeling. We extract the power then in a very direct and experiential way. So it's fine if these data streams come up. Actually, in the balance you training, in the settings, because there's not this emphasis on data, then lots of things can come up. I recognized all of the ways I was suppressing things. It just was coming up more intensely, but luckily there was support from people just like you saying, you know, I've tested these short moments. It's actually okay to let paranoia be as it is. Like I haven't shot myself because I feel so paranoid. Really, you know, it's like you get to face everything fully and be powerful together and then create something totally incredible. Like if you're an artist and you feel like, oh, I need that emotions to make me a better artist or I need to be depressed so I can write better music. <laughs> you know, have you ever heard that? Like some musicians are like, I write my best music when I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. It was like, oh, wow, inspiration, um, hangover inspiration. <laughs> but that's fine, but by relying, by letting data be as it is, the, the creativity to be of great benefit is more and more available with whatever you're doing, artist, musician, engineer, 
doctor, whatever. Like the, the benefit of all starts to come into scope too. Like we see that the way we've been using our talents are they're reaching a few people, like with what we really love doing, like we want to just be the best at what we're doing. It reaches a few people when we rely on data, but when we rely on open intelligence, we see it's just expanding. Our gifts, strengths, and talents have the ability to reach globally. And the cultural boundaries, they're all fading anyway, like these boundaries of places we call countries. It's, yeah, they're just dissolving. All these boundaries are dissolving. We're all connected as a global human culture now through the internet, through transportation. I mean, look how many nationalities are here in India today. It's amazing. People from all over the world just coming together and saying, look, we, we stand up for a world of peace and harmony. We don't want to see it destroyed because of some people's militant ideas. So we have to get real within ourselves and no longer be at the whim of our thoughts, emotions, sensations. And this training just really provides a, a powerful platform to do that with, with a practice, short moments of letting data be as it is and empowering yourself with your open intelligence that you identified when you stopped thinking. Go throughout your day rather than indulging. Like when that urge comes up to indulge, just remember, okay, let it be as it is. Relax body and mind completely. Potent, soothing, powerful energy, inseparable from, the, from that datum. And then we have a trainer and a training and a community that's just easily accessible, freely accessible for anyone who's open and wants to participate and join in the, the great party. <clears throat> yeah, so I can definitely share that, you know, paranoia does come up and I don't have to run away from it any longer. I don't have to continue to indulge and think that there's something wrong with me for feeling paranoid. The only reason I get paranoid is when I indulge data. I, and I just let that be as it is. And there's ease, comfort, even when feeling totally anxious and angry. And so ease and empowerment in every moment. Short moments of complete relaxation, they become longer. So the relaxation starts to pervade all of our moments where you don't need to just go to the beach and have a sunbed for complete relaxation. It's available when you're in service, when you're working, when you're having a complicated conversation. There's ease and empowerment in, you know, in every moment. And no turning back. When you recognize your open intelligence, you can't turn it off. It's like once the light of open intelligence is turned on, you always recognize it. Even if you weren't interested in anything we said today, you'll recognize there's something different about your intelligence. It's something that you can't locate your intelligence. You can't turn it on, you can't turn it off. It, ha it won't change when you're happy or you're sad. So it's, you know, no turning back, that's a good thing. Like, now you just have opportunity for further empowerment, like, to continue to harmonize your relationships, to continue to see a world of peace and harmony unfolding. And if you were to go back, what would you want to go back to? Like arguing, gossiping, yeah. I mean, the excitement for life doesn't get stuffed either. So we don't have to be afraid that somehow we'll become neutralized and weird and... Well, maybe we could be weird too. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's just very, it's just a very natural and powerful way to live together. And it, it just happens on its own accord. <clears throat>